Obviously, you've got to see a doctor first. They wake you up early in hospital, Terry. I've already seen her. Well, and she was happy to let you go. Made me sign so many disclaimers, I've got writer's cramp. But I managed to convince her that I'd make a more rapid recovery in the loving bosom of my family. Are you sure that's wise? The consultant gave me her home number if I have a relapse. Satisfied? Yeah. All right, well, let's get you home then. Hey, and for once, let me do that. I can manage, just get in the bag. A bit early for that, isn't it? I'm sitting here getting wasted ain't gonna help. I'm just making the most of my opportunities. You know, apparently it's easier to get heroin inside than this stuff. <sighs> it's not gonna come to that. You try telling the police that. Oh, it's pretty obvious. She landed as a psycho. I've had that old bunny boiling thing with her myself, remember? Do you have any idea what they do to rapists in prison? Just don't get it. One minute she's all over me, and then the next minute she's screaming rape. Just what did I do to deserve this? So he's finally decided to crawl back home, then, has he? Yeah, I'll be there. Thanks, Terry. I seem to be able to go anywhere in this village without bumping into Scott Flipping Windsor. Well, he does live here. Well, it's a danger to women, and the police just let him wander around the streets. Call that justice. Damn. Well, we set up a scaffold in the village green and deal with him in the traditional way. Sorry, I'm not being very helpful. Are you? It just must my blood boil. Everybody's behaving as if he's not done anything wrong. I mean, why should you be made to Did suffer? You manage on your own this afternoon. Yeah, sure. Sorry, it's completely tactless in the moment. Sorry, banging on about. You do know that, don't you? If there's anything I can do to help, then you, you only you, you only need to ask. God, I hardly seems five minutes since I took the exams. It's gone so fast, doesn't it, this summer? Best summer of my life. Yeah, mine. However, it's back to reality with a bang. Well, I don't get my results, though. What am I going to do if I'm the only one who's failed? You won't have. You've worked hard enough. It's a good job they didn't send the results in the post, isn't it? Cos all you would have done is put them in the fire. Yeah, well, don't star. I don't want anything from Billy. Yeah, but Andy, not even a letter. He is your dad. Oh, Andy, he wouldn't have written to you unless he had something important to tell you. You could have at least opened it. Yeah, but I didn't. Well, go on. Get going before you leave it. Well, I'd best get it open with. Wish me luck. You know you don't need it. You don't wish it me anyway. Good luck. See you later. <laughs> hey, Peggy. Have you missed me, girl? But you're the only one who has. Yeah, there's no sign of charity. And here's me thinking she's going to welcome me with open arms. Well, she wasn't expecting you, remember? Neither of them were. Makes it easier this way. I'll be able to tell Zoe without interruption. You sure you want me to stay? Yeah. Maybe you could give us a bit of space. Not sure how she'll react. What's that? So, I wonder returns at long last. Well, about time, because I want some answers, Chris. Kane! Kane, please, if you're in, will you open up? Be ashamed of yourselves. And you, Terry, you're supposed to be keeping him out of trouble, not egging him on. Believe me, I have a very convincing explanation. Yes, that's the trouble with you, Chris. You always do. Would you mind leaving us, please, Terry? I think there's a little something you're keeping from me, isn't there? That'll be two pounds twenty, please. Cheers, Darren. Can I have a chicken salad with no dressing? How's Chris and Terry getting on in Leeds? All right, I think. You know, working hard. And playing hard, according to Dawn. Well, boys will be boys. You know what they're like. Funny they have to be away so long, though, considering Leeds is only an hour's drive away. Yeah, well, it's a conference. That means they have to stay over for the bonding or whatever. Right, I'll set over there. Told you, I've had a domestic. I'm looking for Mrs Blackstock. Oh, that's me. Keith, Dale's performance plumbing. And this is my partner, Louise. Hi, thanks for coming out so quickly. So, where's my patient? Over here. Gave up the ghost last night. Last thing you want before a bank holiday is a dead dishwasher. Luckily, I specialise in damsels in distress. <clears throat> Leave it with me. I'll see what I can do. If I was a free woman, nothing stopping you, though, is there? 
No, nothing at all, apart from the fact he's wearing a wedding ring, Diane. Did you, or did you not, have anything to do with these ridiculous charges that woman brought against Scott? So what if I did? Well, I thought so. Had to be you. Well, forget about that. It's not important. Making false allegations against an innocent man? Of course it's important! What sort of monster are you? It's called natural justice. He's getting no less than he deserves. Have you no morality at all? Have you any idea how difficult it is for a woman to report an actual rape? And when she does, have you any idea how they are made to suffer over and over again as they're dragged through the courts? Because most of the time, it's the woman who has to prove her innocence, not the other way round. No, I can't say I have. And by doing this, you are making it more difficult for every woman who has been raped and less likely that they're going to be believed. You had me convinced that Scott had raped me, but you were wrong. You had no right to force your version of events onto me, make me believe some sort of, sort of false memory. And no right, Chris. No right to brand me a victim. OK. OK. And I suppose she's doing this for money. She's not doing it for love, is she? Anyway, all this is irrelevant now. Now what's wrong? Oh, it's my head. It, this could be, give me a minute. Yeah. Well, take an aspirin. You brought it on yourself. I just want to know what you are going to do about all this. It's not terminal, is it? Just a pump. Should be able to sort it in time for your bank holiday rush. Funny things, bank holidays. Hilarious. All the Sunday drivers blocking the roads, the tin tents, the cyclists, the local pub's so full of day trippers you can't get served. You get priority service here. Why don't you make a day of it? Could bring the wife. I don't think her new husband would appreciate that. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It was a merciful release for the pair of us. But you still wear a ring. When my granddad's don't fit any other finger. Right then, if I've the spear in the back of the van, you just might be in luck. No. He's single, gorgeous, polite, talented, well-dressed. And you still think he's a heterosexual? How many fellas do we get like that walking through that door? You should snap him up before someone else beats you to it. Mm. Why were you looking for Kane up at our house? I wasn't. I saw you. I were in with pigs. Best in with pigs now, Lisa's away. Kane's picking on me. Yeah, well, you should stand up for yourself more then, shouldn't you? Shouldn't let him push you around. I mean, like you did overnight. What are you on about? When you stormed out all upset, came and kicked the dog and then took it out on me. That's why I'm in with pigs. Well, it was somehow nothing. It was about Debbie. It's not what Kane said. Yeah. We don't ever listen to anything that Kane tells you, all right? You are forgetting the one miracle that has come out of this whole sorry mess, my baby daughter. And you would frame her father for rape. OK, I'm sorry, I've made a mistake. Have we finished now? Not one shred of remorse, not one twinge of guilt do you have about what could have happened to Scott? I did it for you, Zoe. I did it for you, Jean. I, d I did it for you. Well, next time, Chris, before you decide to act as judge, jury and executioner on my behalf, maybe, just maybe, you might think to consult me first. What's going on? You don't want to know. What are you doing, Mac? I live here. At least try and look pleased to see me. And what have you done to your head? It's a long story. We it's a Japanese restaurant, a couple of bottles of sake. We... Nightclub. <clears throat> yeah, it was a jealous boyfriend. We had to make her escape through a multi-storey car park. I came out of my chair when we got to the barrier. You seriously expect me to believe that? God's honest truth. What's been going on, you two? Have you been seeing someone? Tell her, Terry. Have I been seeing another woman? No, I'll give you my word, yeah. Right, well, if you've nothing to hide, why this daft little story, then? This secrecy? What, you'd rather I rang you on the hour every hour to check up on you? 
to see what you were doing and who with? No, of course not, but a bit more contact might have been nice. I was busy. I didn't think you'd appreciate drunken phone calls at two in the morning. I'm sorry. I should have kept in touch. Mm. Well, so you should be. Go on, admit it. You've missed me. Don't flatter yourself. Don't I even get a kiss? Do you know something? I despair of you, Chris Day. Bother me again and I'm calling the police. Be my guest. I'm sure they'll be fascinated to hear about your little arrangement with my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. Because I know that Chris gave you money to lie about what Scott did to you. Slight case of overactive imagination. Stan, he told me himself this morning. So, either you retract your accusation and drop all charges against Scott, or I can call the police and tell them the whole story. No problem. If I go down, I'll take your precious brother with me. To be honest, he's the least he deserves. But I do have more pressing concerns, so... If you'd like to avoid all this unpleasantness, I'd like to suggest an alternative. You told me that this conference was for networking, to widen our customer base. And yet it doesn't sound like you were sober enough to do any business. Achieved quite a lot, didn't I, Terry? Sure did. Should know the results of my efforts by the end of the week. Well, go on then. What have you got lined up? No. Not attempt fate by celebrating too early. It, it's a bit of an all or nothing situation. You're looking a bit pale. Don't you think you should get your head down for an hour or two? Don't fuss over him, Terry. He's brought it all on himself. Oh, and what fun I had bringing it on. Anything to report while I've been away? No. How have you filled all those empty hours without me? Managed somehow. Yeah. Don said uh, you bumped into her. Yeah, that's right. You know, Terry's right, you are looking a bit peaky. I'll go and organise some tea, all right? Yolanda what? It's Susan R. Bottle, actually. Yolanda's my professional name. Can't you be a bit more discreet? We're not allowed to take payments, do I? This is a value you've put on ruining a man's life. Seems cheap at the price. Don't come over all ethical with me. Not when you can write a cheque that size without thinking twice. Two cheques, actually. You can think of this one as a deposit and you'll get the other one when the police confirm that all charges have been dropped. Oh. And another thing. What did happen between you and Scott that night? Doesn't matter now, does it? You disgust me. As long as there are women like you who are prepared to cry rape out of malice, what chance do the real victims have? I hope you can live with yourself. He's too good looking. He's probably got a girlfriend already. If you don't ask him, I will. Don't you dare. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, remember? Life's too short to hang about. I am not asking him out, OK? There we go, ladies. Good as new. How much do we owe you, love? I'll work it out. Drop me invoice around tomorrow. I'll see if you'll both be around. We look forward to it. Won't we, Louise? If you say so. What were you thinking? You had the lad in the palm of your hand. Meaning? I can only do so much, Louise. I'd draw the line at asking him out for you. It's obvious he wasn't interested, isn't it? His tongue was hanging out so far, he was practically cleaning the drip trays. If you'd given him an ounce of encouragement, I guarantee he'd be glued to that bar stool gazing adoringly into your eyes. Yeah, but he isn't, is he? So he's obviously not interested, or he's too much of a wimp to do anything about it. Mrs Pankhurst would be swivelling in her grave. I don't see why. A hundred years of female emancipation, and you still expect him to do the running. So I'm supposed to throw myself at any unsuspecting single male under a certain age with a full set of limbs and teeth who walks through that door, whether he wants me to or not? Thanks a bunch, Diane. So, hang on a minute. You paid her to go to the police? 
Who do you think you are, Chris? One of the Mafia? I believe in looking after my own. Well, if it was me, I'd have murdered you for interfering. You've got to stop thinking that you can solve everyone's problems by sticking your oar in. You'd do the same if it was Debbie. She's my daughter, Chris. That is different. Or any other blood relative. Shouldn't have mentioned the C word. Oh, why do you have to drag Kane into everything? You're so predictable. You jump to his defence every time. Forget it. I'm going out. Please. After all that whining about me being away, you'd leave me alone on my first night back. Right. Fine. If you insist, I will stay. Don't do me any favours. Oh, it's unreasonable of me to ask my wife to submit to the tedium of spending a whole evening in my company. I will stay. All right. You suit yourself. You know, this morning I was really looking forward to coming home, but now I'm back. I wish I'd never bothered. I told you to stay out. Well, I I've got news. I've got a message. Go on, then. Charity were up earlier, bashing on the door. She was shouting, Cain, Cain, Cain. What's she now? Do you want to know if she left a message? No. Oh. I thought you would, seeing as she were asking for oh, you. All right, well, go on then. What were it? She didn't leave one. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. I don't want to hear it. Whatever happened between us that night, the truth is I can't remember. Well, I can. You wanted me. You were all over me. Whatever happened that night, I am prepared to make a statement in your defence that I consented, that you didn't force yourself on me. What's the catch? You promised to stay away from my daughter for the rest of her life. How'd you go? I don't know how I'm going to call Pandy. I only got all A's and B's, didn't I? <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I knew you'd do it. Surprise! <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> what we did you, Katie? How did you know I'd pass? I felt it in me water. Congratulations, love. <laughs> now you can go on and do six for. Well, yeah, I can do the subjects I want, no problem. Really? So where have you been for the rest of the day? Well, wheeling and dealing. I think I get an A for that and all. All cash, you don't have to put it through the books. How'd you manage that? Amanda at school. The place where her mum keeps the horses shut down, so I offered her our stables. You did what? Well, we never use them. She's only got a couple that she looks after herself, so what we need to do is collect the rent and it's the deposit. You've got to give you a deposit as well? Well, I had to, seeing as there's a queue of other horsey women interested. You've been sleeping in a knife drawer, obviously. <laughs> hey, not only are you gorgeous and clever, but you're gorgeous clever and brilliant. Come here. <laughs> hey. Oh, better wrap them up, Victoria. <laughs> you're blackmailing me, do you know that? No. I'm offering you a way through your current problems if you'll help with mine. It doesn't matter what you say in court anyway, it's not going to stop your land getting me sent down, is it? You never know. Might do. Why your sudden change of tune? I just want to be left alone with my daughter. No more, no less. An answer, Scott. I either go to prison for something that I did not do, or I lose my daughter. That's some choice, Zoe. And I thought Chris was supposed to be the ruthless one. No birthdays, no Christmas, nothing. Mum can't do the grandma thing. Pretty much how you spent her first few months. Yes or no? What are you going to do anyway? Are you going to take an ad in the courier? I'll tell anyone you like. Even the police? Especially the police. Zoe. I'll never lay a finger on our precious daughter. You must really hate me. 
Please get her to call me. She isn't answering her mobile. OK, thanks, Ashley. No joy, was I? She's not even speaking to me. I'll let her calm down. Have another go tomorrow. Why is she so mad? Well, it's a bit of a case of ethical differences. She has the ethics. I have the differences. Well, do you want me to have a word with her? And I'm sure she wouldn't kick off like this if she knew you were ill. No. You get yourself home. You're going to be all right? As I said, all I needed after my ordeal is to be returned to the bosom of my loving family. So why don't you tell Charity? Because I suspect that if she does know how down I am, she put the boot in. Well, I'll stop here. Have a bite to eat, will you? You've done more than enough for me already. Yeah, but it's uh, your biopsy result tomorrow. I don't want to leave you. Not tonight. I'll be fine. I promise. So please, get yourself home to your wife. Right. For you, phone. If you need anything. Night, then. Yeah, night, Terry. He's missed you while he's been away. Yeah, right. See you. 